Hey guys, this is MTP Flyers, and we're doing a quick ride along, and I'm not going to do this for very long because this is not safe at all. And I'm hitting all the green lights, but I'm headed to the store right now because I need a new car mount. So join me as I head off to Micro Center and uh, see exactly what we can find and not look too awkward in the store trying to find it. So back to my driving. All right, so we're here at Micro Center. And for those who don't know what Micro Center is, it's basically the electronic equivalent to, I don't know, Best Buy. And I didn't even say Best Buy. Like, I don't even know how to equate it. It's just everything electronics that you can think of. So, if you want to build a PC, basically you can come here and do it. Alright, so we're going to head in and I'm going to find the... Apple stuff, I guess you want to call it, or the phone stuff, and we'll see what we got. I don't know how crazy they are about people videoing in here. So, they seem pretty busy doing their own thing. So I'll see you in a minute. Hey guys, I was in here looking at different stands, and saw this from DigiPower. This actually looks pretty cool. Now, this isn't something that I would be interested in because of the setup that I have. However, anyone out there looking for something minimal, this is actually pretty cool. So, basically a bumper that allows you to transmit, you know, wirelessly to your car. So, if you're looking for something like that, that's pretty cool. A little pricey at 60 bucks though. So, I don't know, I may have to pick this up and try it out. Seriously, Pro HT or whoever you are, fits the iPhone 4, but you've got some variation to the original iPhone on your packaging. I guess that's why it's $9.99, and it's only the screen that they show that it covers. Oh boy. Alright guys, so real quick, I've got this thing, which is mounting in your vent, which I don't really want to do because my vents are kind of lower in my car. And it's really going to kind of impede anything that I want to do. And let's be honest, this camera shoots kind of close. So, you know, like I have to kind of keep you guys away from me to be able to you know, shoot something. And I want to make sure I'm in the frame and you can see what I'm doing as my horrible video work did today. But we got McGalley's uh, M-Grip here, which it looks good, but I just think the neck is just way too cumbersome and, and too much for what I want. Again, I think that puts me too close, and I don't think it's going to really straighten out to the point where I can get it comfortable. I think it's just going to be something that's going to be too bouncy in the car as I'm, you know, if I'm driving and talking to you guys, and feel like it's just going to be messing with it. Um, and I'm sure it'll spin nice and everything, but I don't know. The universal uh, car mount from Klingo looks pretty decent, but I'm a little nervous about the sticky part of it falling off. Now, I've tried other Klingo parts, and, you know, they were pretty decent, but I don't know. I just a little, be a little bit nervous to do that. So that leads us to these three we've got here. We've got a Dexum, which I'm a little confused because they have a universal car mount, and it comes with a um, an aux plug. I'm not sure why, if you want to plug it into your car. I'm not quite sure if it says, you know, you can play audio over your car stereo. I'm still kind of confused. I don't really need that. What I like about this is it's it's short to the point. It, the piece slides off real easily. You can spin around up and down. So I kind of like that idea. The price is for $15.99 isn't too bad um, as I knock it over. The Kensington, eh, I don't know. Again, I think the neck is too long and I think it'll bounce while I'm doing my thing and uh, talking and whatnot, but I do like the setup on that. And um, the price of 30 bucks is a little bit up there. And then there's uh, Signets that they have here. I don't know if this is not long enough, to be honest with you. Um, I like the whole setup. It's, it's short, sweet, to the point. And uh, it's a great price. You stick that on your windshield and you're good to go. So I, I think it's a, it's a toss-up between the Signet, I don't know about the Kensington, and, and the Dexum. I mean, this is kind of cumbersome as well as far as the setup goes, but I think this would probably fit better, and it's always going to be in landscape, so I know it'll hold on there. So, what do you guys think? Um, comment down below. Well, I, uh, what, who, what am I kidding? <laughs> I'm going to have this as a, for you guys shortly, and we'll do the unboxing at home. 
But uh, I think I'm going to show you guys something else I think I'm going to pick up as well. But I think I might try the Signet, and we'll do that. And hey, you can't go wrong for 17 bucks, right? So I'll let you guys know what I decided. So you guys know that I have a trackpad along with my keypad, keyboard, and I've been trying to find something to connect it to that isn't too pricey, and the click is something that I've seen. Now, there was the guy on Kickstarter that had that really cool aluminum dock set up, which he was supposed to send me, but it just never really uh, seemed to work out. So I think I might try one of those, but real quick, check out the Luxa. That's just insanity right there. Look at that. That's a hundred bucks. I think that's a little bit too pricey, but I think I'm going to pick one of these up. Let's see. All right, so real quick, let me just show you the store. They got the uh, gaming section here, which isn't something I'm too big into, but I know a lot of you guys are. So they have a pretty decent selection here of different things, but anything else you need. Over yonder is all the parts for the computers, for PCs and whatnot, which is pretty sweet. And they've got tons of bags tons of parts, software, pretty much everything and anything that you need computer-wise. Wires, hookups, Ethernet, everything. So that's just a quick look. I'm not probably not supposed to be shooting video in here, but I just want to show you guys that real quick. I got my stuff, and I am out. All right, so I'm done. I got my stuff. Saw Wilson Tech 1. Not really. <laughs> Dude just look like him. And, uh, going to shoot home and uh, show you guys exactly what I got in a little more professional atmosphere. But I just figured I wanted to bring you guys along for the ride, show you the store, and uh, go from there. So, here's the vehicular. People have asked me what kind of car I drive. It's a Toyota 4Runner. It's old. It's an 04. I'll help if I unlocked it when I did it, right? So, alright guys. I will see you when I get home. All right, guys. Well, without further ado, this is what I picked up. The Signet Dash View Universal Car Mount. Now, obviously, the, the, the price intrigued me a little bit, as well as the design. Now, I, I will have to admit, I did try this out in the car. Uh, so, I was a little excited to see exactly how it worked out. And sure enough, I'm impressed. The fact that it only goes so far off the glass of the car it, there's literally no bouncing whatsoever now of course I want to try this with you guys in the car and uh, we will check that out uh, but in the meantime you know in my opinion I think this was this was really nice now I have this up on my dash like so and I actually have this down now depending on your setup and how you want this I don't know who else would want it that way but uh, this worked out perfect. You just put the suction on the car, and you turn this, and that actually that actually loosens it. You put that on the car like so, and then you just turn this down here, and that locks it into place. You can't you can't move that at all. Now this goes up. Of course, that picked it up because it's not on glass. That was a big fat bag of fail. So, now I can't, there we go, okay. So you push that down, you turn it on, and then you're locked in place. So the whole thing, it will not move. It moves the whole thing. Actually, it can move that. So this goes up and down. This actually clicks in place here. This is swiveling because this table is just weird. It, God. Now, see, that was weird, wasn't it? Now it has no problem coming up at all. I uh, didn't do that in the car. So this does swivel like that and clicks into place you can't move this up and down so oh, good lord so if you have this on your windshield like so and I want to move this up and down I can swivel this in the direction that I want so that is just in my opinion it worked out perfect the device will actually spread out here with a case on and I did look on the back of the box here all iPhones, all HTC phones, I hope we're not uh, blurring you out there, Blackberry, iPod Touch, most phones, hmm, that's kind of weird, however, I do believe that, good lord, I do believe that this will fit pretty much anything with the exception of the Galaxy Note, in my opinion, so, $15.99, we will uh, we'll do a little shooting in the car, and let you guys know. 
But in the meantime, let me show you the keyboard dock that I also got from Henge Docks. And this intrigues me because it's plastic. I don't know if it's something that I I like. Um, I just wanted to try it out. It's only 25 bucks. All right, so it does sit down and it does hold pretty well on there. Um, I know that there's a lock on the back of here and I think that might have something to do with releasing it. So I tell you what, let's go ahead and see if we can drop in the trackpad here. I'll show you guys that real quick. I'll drop that into place, and I think that should just slide right in on there. And I don't think this has anything to do with that locking in the place or on the side there. But it does give you the ability to push the power button to get those on. And you know what? I think that just slides and drops in there like that. So you're in. I don't know if it's necessarily, I don't know to see if I like that or not. So apparently you drop in the front and then drop in the back and that puts it in the place. So there you go. I'm going to make a little bit more room here. So there you go. Everything is together. And you know, we'll have to try it out and see see what I think. You know, I'm, I'm going to like having it together. Um, right off the bat see it's a little bit wobbly there I don't know why not too happy about that because if it's not straight it's not right so interesting I'll have to check that out not too good for uh, something you pay $25 for so I'll try it out a little bit I'll let you guys know what I think that's not a good start because I'll be here the whole time the whole thing will be bouncing that'll drive me absolutely batty so we'll have to see what the deal is. This down here. Well, actually, I managed to push a video on my computer. But this will allow you to turn on the keyboard if there's a problem. It'll actually tap that. So that's not too bad. All right, guys. So enough, enough. I'll get back to you on this thing. I'm not liking it already with that. So we'll set it up on the desk and see how it goes. We'll make sure this is in right. So, of course, you know, not reading the directions. The main reasons for doing stuff, right? <laughs> so we shall uh, give it a try, and I'll let you guys know what I think. Other than that, you guys have a great night, and I will talk to you later. See ya!